March 2020 changed just about everything. We had to find unusual routes to accomplish the usual tasks, discover new perspectives on old habits. And through it all, digital finance was there to lend a helping hand. Right when we thought everything was slowing down, it sped up. 10 years of consumer adoption happened in a matter of months. The bank counter became the dinner table. The trading floor became the dorm room floor. The right time to take control of your personal finances became any time. Yesterday's novel idea is today's new normal. Expectations have changed. Possibilities have expanded. We can reach more people than we ever thought possible. We can reimagine the way financial services work, how they should feel, and what they can accomplish. We can turn the wild speed of the last two years into the focused velocity of the next two years, the next 10, the next 20, and build the financial system people have always wanted. Welcome to Plaid Forum 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Ginger Baker. All right. Welcome to Plaid Forum, everyone. How great is this? We're here. We're together. We're in one room finally after a two-year hiatus. And hello to our virtual audience. Thank you all so much for joining us as well. That video was an important reminder of just how far this community has come. The last two years were hard, really hard. But we stepped up, we sped up, and we reached more people with an accessible financial system. How about a round of applause for that hard work over the last two years? My name is Ginger Baker, and I'm the head of financial access here at Plaid. Plaid Forum started as a way for us to build stronger connections within the Plaid community, but it has since evolved to a thought leadership and a forum for greater partnership with you all. And we have a lot in store for you today. Other members of the Plaid team will join me on stage later today to take you through some of our newest products. There are also a number of workshops, panels, and product deep dives, so please check them out and please enjoy yourselves. Before we dive in, I'd like to spend a few minutes just talking about how we got here, how we collectively got to this moment. The speed of change in financial access recently has been extraordinary, but it was slow to start. Think about it. You know, a few hundred years ago, it took us hundreds of years to basically move from a world where currency and value were tangible items, were things you may have had in your household, livestock, jewelry, and other tangible goods to the modern banking infrastructure that we all grew up on in the 1900s. By the time we got to 2010, so just 12 years ago, only half of the global adult population was banked. Fast forward to today, and we have seen hockey stick style growth in both innovation and access to services. And the change of speed, I mean, the speed of change has been absolutely incredible to see. Can I see a raise of hands, actually? Who here remembers when PayPal was created in the early 2000s? Anybody remember that? Yeah, I do. But I, I certainly didn't realize that that was going to be the beginning of the fintech era. Technology fundamentally changed our ability to reach people. We probably all remember those moments, those aha moments, when we really understood that change was underway, that we were part of some wave of, of change and innovation that was happening. That moment for me was in Nairobi, Kenya in 2008. A taxi driver was dropping me off at the hotel and asked if I wanted to pay with M-Pesa. And I had never seen M-Pesa in the wild before. So he brought out his old Nokia 1110 phone, you know, the old ones, not even the flip phone, right? Um, and he dialed star 334 pound or something similar to that. And a menu of options came up on his device, which he navigated with those little arrows on the touchpad. Uh, the first option on the phone was send money. Send money. So this allowed Kenyans to push funds from their virtual M-Pesa wallets to friends, families, and even taxi drivers all over Kenya. And this was before, just before this M-Pesa launched, only 18% of Kenyans actually had access to financial services. M-Pesa just celebrated their 15th anniversary. 
In the last five years, the number of M-Pesa users has doubled to 50 million monthly active users today. There's no doubt that the proliferation of mobile devices helped make this change in our industry possible. That trajectory, the hockey stick curve that you see, technology was a big part of that. Those phones, those little devices that you carry in your pocket, in fact, I see a couple of you with them in your hands, which is fine, it's fine as long as you're tweeting about platform, we're good, we're good. <laughs> but the, the mobile phone really propelled progress over the last two decades. And today, around 70% of the global adult population has access to financial services. 1.2 billion people. In the six years from 2011 to 2017, 1.2 billion people gained access to either a mobile money account or bank account for the first time. This revolution in financial inclusion really supported a pathway out of poverty for hundreds of millions of people and helped to spur economic growth. 1.2 billion people. Adding that many people to the financial system in just six years is remarkable. It also means that today, more people have access to financial services than toothbrushes, which is crazy to think about. But mobile phones alone did not change our industry. As consumer demands change, industry and government also take action. And this is where partnerships within the industry and with all of you become so essential. And we see this playing out today in fintech. Regulators around the world have embraced new payment and identity systems and, especially important for this conference, are giving consumers the right to access and share their data with the tools and services they love. The country where Plaid operates are all at different stages of their open finance journey. We know fintech and crypto are top of mind for governments everywhere. And at Plaid, we see these changes as opportunities and ones that we won't solve alone. Partnerships and the industry collaboration today have propelled us to this point, and we're so excited to be here with all of you. From designing API standards with banks to launching data security standards with our partners, over the last few years, we have come together to really rethink what a fully digital financial experience actually means for people. And now, consumers have come to expect fast and easy digital experiences, and you all have delivered. Listen to this. Nine in 10 Americans use FinTech today, making it the most widely adopted consumer technology outside of the internet. I mean, when my parents are using FinTech today, so round of applause for getting the boomers on board, everyone. Nice job, nice job with the boomers. It's really been helpful. <laughs> But when I first started working in financial services 20 years ago, I never thought it would be this cool or this widely adopted. But today, FinTech is everywhere. The innovation you all have built on top of Plaid has truly delivered better experiences. Yet there's so much more that we can do. We will keep expanding our platform so you all can keep expanding your reach. I believe the people who can deliver the next set of experiences, the next set of those transformational moments, those aha moments that I talked about earlier, it's all of you. It's those of us in this room, those of you in the virtual audience. It's us. And I'm really excited about what you all are building. And I want to learn more about it, so please do seek me out later today. Now I'm going to pass it on to Zach Perret, Plaid's co-founder and CEO, to share what we're doing to ensure that you can meet, reach more users and build what's next. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ginger, and thanks to all of you for, for being here. I'm Zach Perret, co-founder and CEO of Plaid. Last month marked the seven-year anniversary of our first product launch, and I share the exact same sentiment as Ginger. In those past seven years, it's been truly incredible to watch as all of you have transformed the banking industry via all of the products that you've built. Hundreds of millions of people now rely on digital finance every day to live their financial lives. And I personally want to congratulate you all. I want to thank you all for everything you've built on top of Plaid, for everything that you've done for consumers, and for the, the way that you've helped transform the financial services industry. We're also lucky to have a number of partners, supporters, uh, and others that, that have helped Plaid along the way, and all of you. So thanks to everyone for all that you've done. Okay, I'd like to get started by, by briefly looking backwards. The past few years have had three major changes in consumer finance. Um, first, and this is no surprise to anyone, we're shifting from physical branches to digital banking. It's what you've all been working on for years. Second, we've seen a massive expansion in the number of people that have access to financial services products. And this is really special. There's been a substantial reduction in the underbanked and the unbanked population, especially in the US, but also internationally. 
we've seen this really punctuated throughout the year of 2020. Thanks to all the products that you all build, any consumer now has access to banking, to lending, to investing, or any other financial product that they might need right there from their phone. The reality is many people didn't have access to these things before, and you all have helped change that. Finally, and this one's really important, we've seen consumers massively increase the number of financial services applications that they're using day to day. People are using many applications to pay their friends, to get loans, to manage their personal finances, and so much more. My parents, 10 years ago, just had one banking relationship. And they had to then go get a second banking relationship when the, the, the bank moved that, in the town that we lived in when that bank moved away. So they had two banking relationships 10 years ago. Today, most consumers are using many, many applications. They have a folder full of apps on their iPhone or their Android, um, and they're trying different things to pay their friends, different ways to invest, and so many other things. Despite the current macroeconomic environment, the increasing need for digital finance, the increasing proclivity of people to use different financial products is not going away. This is a long-term trend, and it's one that's actually compounding. When we talk to our customers, when we talk to all of you, we hear that the most impactful thing that we can do at Plaid is to help you acquire, retain, and engage as many good users as possible. And we take that very seriously. With this in mind, we're incredibly excited to share a number of product updates with you today. So today we're gonna to focus on, on three key areas, or I'm gonna focus on three key areas. The first is account connectivity. The second is some, some platform expansions that we're building, some new products that we're bringing to market. And the final thing that I wanna talk about is fraud protection. <clears throat> okay, let's start with account connectivity. As you all know, our core products enable a user to easily and safely connect a bank account to an application. But for us, the trickiest thing that we do is creating a consistent and reliable connection to a bank whose technology stack oftentimes was not built to support this kind of volume. My father-in-law was a COBOL programmer at a major bank, and so I've heard a lot about the, the difficulties of scaling bank infrastructure. Like, seriously, a lot. In 2020, we launched a product called Plat Exchange that helps the banks and fintech companies build connectivity APIs. Today, I'm proud to share that the number of banks who are using Plat Exchange to enable API-based access has more than doubled to over 1,000 financial institutions. That's a huge shift for an industry where the banks oftentimes weren't thinking about APIs just as recently as three or four years ago. What's more, today we're very excited to announce a new product called Core Exchange. Core Exchange offers a simpler way for any bank or fintech to share data into the Plaid ecosystem, and it's fully aligned with industry standards. These improvements in API-driven account connectivity are not just beneficial to the consumers and to the fintech companies who are connecting external accounts in, but they're incredibly valuable for the banks and the fintechs whose accounts are being connected externally. So why? As a recent example, last week we shared that Current, which is a digital first bank, launched an API platform using Plat Exchange. So this API platform, it doesn't only just enable Current's four million users to interact with thousands of new financial products that are out there throughout the Plaid network, but it actually deepens the relationship that Current has with its own customers. Time and time again, we found that the more that a consumer connects their bank accounts externally, the more entrenched and engaged they are with their bank at home. As our team likes to say, a connected user is a more valuable user. In a similar fashion, the majority of fintech companies are now both data providers and data customers of Plaid. Okay, in addition to expanding and deepening account connectivity, we've also been very hard at work to launch a set of feature improvements that substantially boost conversion. We're gonna talk about this a lot more later today, and we're gonna talk about some new exciting upgrades to Plaid Link. So let's shift gears. I'd like to start talking about platform expansion for a few minutes. Account connectivity remains the core focus of our business, but we wanna do more to help you all onboard and sign up new users. We're expanding our platform to deliver a large number of new things, including everything from identity verification to account funding, payouts, credit underwriting tools, and so much more. Starting off with identity verification. Verifying a user's identity is a critical step in the sign-up process for almost every financial product. So I have a lot of bank accounts. No joke, I have more than 100 bank accounts. You have to test all the Plaid products in all the different ways, um, and it took me a long time to sign up for these. For every single one of these accounts, I had to show up in person at a bank, 
um, with my passport, my driver's license, and a bunch of printed off paperwork. And about half the time, they would send me home and say, hey, we actually need this document that you don't happen to have with you, so come back. I don't know how many hundreds of bank visits I had in order to open all those accounts, um, but it was certainly a lot. The reality is that the majority of financial products still require this kind of manual verification. In January, Platt acquired a company named Cognito, which helps build a truly fantastic set of identity verification tools. Cognito's IDV products are best in class. I've been incredibly impressed by what the team and the product continues to deliver on a day-to-day -day basis. Later today, you'll get the privilege to hear from Alan, the CEO of Cognito, who is now the head of identity for Plaid. And he's going to tell you a whole lot more about this offering. I think that you're going to be truly blown away by the quality of the product demo that we're going to show. And we'd love to bring this exact same product quality to your application starting today. So please find someone on our team and talk to them about it. In addition to identity verification, we have a number of other exciting product updates to help you successfully onboard more customers across many use cases and many geographies. Here's a quick list. You'll hear updates from our transfer team, which enables simple ACH processing. You'll hear updates from our credit product suite that enables lenders to make instant underwriting decisions. We're also going to share a lot more about the recent launch of our income verification product. Finally, you'll hear much from our international team about our ongoing European expansion and so many more things. Before I wrap up, though, I want to talk about fraud. Over the past few months, we've undertaken a major new initiative inside of Plaid focused on fraud prote protection, fraud prevention, and fraud reduction. As the fintech ecosystem grows in importance and size for consumers, so too grows our collective need to protect fintech users. Fraud in financial services, it's hardly new. But the complexity continues to increase. Given Plaid scale, we have over 6,000 customers, over 12,000 banks, and hundreds of millions of active users. This is truly ridiculous. Every time I say these words, I, I can't believe that it's actually true. We're in a very unique position to build fraud prevention tools that leverage the, the largest data set in the consumer financial services industry. I said earlier that the most frequent request that we get from all of you is to help you sign up and onboard more good users. And at Plaid, we put a huge emphasis on the word good. Plaid's Signal product is a new solution des designed to help you minimize the risk of payments and transfers. Signal uses machine learning to analyze more than 1,000 risk factors and provide scores and insights that give you more certainty that a transaction will settle. This allows you to accelerate the funds that you're delivering to a consumer inside of your application without adding additional risk to the consumer or to your application. Today, we're going to share a bunch of new updates on Signal, including how you can join our ever-expanding beta program. But going one step further, we're also introducing a new service called ACH Guarantee, which is powered by Signal and a bunch of other data sources. ACH Guarantee is a real, provides a real-time transaction decision, and exactly as the name suggests, Plaid will guarantee the settlement of ACH transactions and underwrite the risk of return. We're so excited to get this out to all of you. But enough from me. I'd like to hand it off to Jeanne to introduce you to the true stars of today's show across our engineering, product, design, marketing, sales, and many other teams. Before I do that, though, I just want to say one more thank you. Thank you all for your trust. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your feedback. And thank you for everything you do day to day to help the hundreds of millions of consumers that rely on your products. I'm so excited for what the past seven years have brought, but more importantly, I'm excited for what the next seven years will bring across this ecosystem. All right, enough from me. Please welcome our CTO, Jean Denis, who will take you through the rest of today's very exciting program. Thank you, Zach. Hi, everybody. I'm Jean Denis, CTO of Plaid. So it feels really, really good to see all of you right now. Like it, it feels truly good. Um, this was me a year ago recording for Platform. That's my baby's room, which has been repurposed into a, um, I don't know, office slash pile of books so that I could have my script at eye level. You see an athletic facility in the background, uh, which I'm really proud of. Um, this is much better. And I know a lot of you are still remote and not able to be here, but I really look forward to getting to all of you in person over the coming years. So this is really different 
You know, it's a great stage surrounded by incredible customers and partners. And you'll probably notice the only thing that's in common is the sweatpants that I'm wearing, thanks COVID. Actually, honestly, I'm gonna do this. If you don't mind indulging me, um, our design team suggested I take photos of the event, given how much amazing work they've put into this and the marketing team and the events team. So I'm gonna do something that's like way past my age, but I'm gonna try to take a selfie with everybody just to capture this moment, all right? All right, everybody, big smiles. Woo! All right, awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, back to our usual programming. Actually, the, the picture looks great. I'll, I'll show it to you later, you all look really great. All right, so every single one of us here shares a truly important purpose, to deliver better financial outcomes to people everywhere. Right? It's why all of you are here. It's why all of us are here. Whether you represent a large financial institution, a credit union, a fintech, an infrastructure player, or even if you're a budding entrepreneur, your goals, our goals are the same. And after two years, I hope that you can't wait to connect with this incredible community to hear about the new products and ideas being worked on by everyone. Welcome back. There's a ton of stuff I can't wait to show you, but I wanna start by thanking you for your feedback. You know, I don't know if you know this, but everything we've built at Plaid since the very early days when Venmo asked us if we could build what became our auth product, everything comes from you. It reflects your input, your challenges, and your opportunities. That's how we think about our success at Plaid. So please keep your feedback coming. My commitment to you is that Plaid will continue to be your listener and your partner for us to build this mission and this future together. So last year, we talked a lot about quality. And at Plaid, we believe that providing simple products that allow you to leverage financial data and connectivity is the single most important thing we can do to empower you. So that's our first focus area, which Zach mentioned, best-in-class account connectivity. I wanna start by highlighting what the team has delivered tirelessly over the past 12 months, thanks to your feedback. So first, we've increased coverage to support 80% of fintechs in our network today. That includes players like Green Dot or Current. You know, for context, Current is the third most requested fintech connection from all of you. This was one of your biggest asks. We listened, changed our roadmap, and we're really excited about many, many more fintechs that we'll be supporting in the months ahead. What about payroll? We've kept hearing from lenders how important payroll data is. We've made large investments, such as mapping over 250,000 employers to payroll providers to increase conversion. And every week at Plaid, we add 1,000 more. We've also launched Plaid Income a few weeks ago, which we'll talk more about later today. What about conversion? I mean, conversion, at the end of the day, matters the most to you. So we shipped our co-branded consent pane so that first, our link flow would be more clear for your users but also so that it could be a more natural extension of your applications. We made big improvements in Institution Select, that's search, to boost conversion without you needing to do anything to benefit. I actually woke up this morning, there's an email in my inbox from the Plat team about another experiment to connectivity that's a 0.43% increase to conversion. That may not sound like a lot, but if we can deliver that for you every two to three weeks, constantly, forever, Soon enough, anybody in the US or the world will be able to connect their accounts seamlessly. And we also launched app to app with partner banks, resulting in 10 to 15 improvements in conversion. This is huge. What about you know, security and privacy? So this is very near and dear to my heart. Obviously, things like app to app or OAuth, a big part of the story, we've done a lot more. We launched the Plat portal to all consumers and we've continued to make improvements to our account selection flow to get the best blend between conversion and privacy and clarity for your end users. I'm really proud of this work because I don't think these are wins just for your users. I think they're wins for the entire ecosystem, for what we're all trying to build together. Privacy, security, increased trust. And financial services are trust. Trust is foundational, it's a foundational building block to delivering better financial outcomes to everybody. That's why we invest so much here. 
So I'm a little afraid of walking around later today, because I know, I know what's going to happen. Every single one of you is going to come to me, and you're going to ask for what we can do to improve data quality, right? Because going back, that's your most important ask. What can we do to continue to improve the quality of the information that flows through our network? We've done so much here. We've reduced transaction history latency by 25%. We've launched check number fields, timestamps as opposed to date stamps. We've made dozens of other improvements to our transaction experience. What about investments? We added support for more holding types, and we made it easier to test integration in the sandbox. We know that so many of you rely on both identity and auth to support money movement use cases. And we increased co-coverage from 80% to 98% over the last 12 months. We also launched identity webhooks so that you could be aware of changes in ownership immediately. Finally, liabilities, which is one of our fastest growing products, we improve its coverage significantly, supporting institutions like Capital One that you've been asking for. And we reduce P95 balance latency by 20% so that more of you could rely on live balance for user prevent user present payment flows. I, I could go on for quite a while longer. So the point, which I hope comes across, is that we keep listening to your feedback and we keep improving the quality of our core platform. That's our commitment. Account connectivity will always remain our number one focus. More than two-thirds of our engineering, product, design, and support teams is singularly dedicated to improving this, and will continue to double down. So again, our products would never be what they are without your continued push for excellence. Keep the feedback coming. Now let's switch gears a little bit. So I want to touch now on the other two big focus areas for today. Platform expansion towards something that we call the full stack onboarding experience, and reducing risk throughout your end user's life cycle. So in the fall, we talked a lot about, and today, as a matter of fact, talked a lot about shortening the time between when a user downloads one of your apps and this kind of magical aha moment. And the reality, I think, for all of you, it's not just the aha moment that matters, right? It's that user becoming a loyal customer. So at Plaid, we've long focused on making the account linking step of this process as seamless as possible. And I think, you know, if I asked most of you what do you think Plaid is, what do you think Plaid does really well, you would say account linking, bank connectivity, right? That's why we're known to be the best ad in the world. That's why you rely on us. But the reality is account linking is only one part of onboarding. And we know this because it's what you've been telling us. Much like years ago you told us you needed off, now you're telling us, hey, we have other points in this flow that are introducing friction they're breaking the experience for our users. Every part of onboarding matters to you. Creating an account, verifying a user's identity, yeah, account linking, evaluating transaction risk, depositing funds. So what we want to do is we want to partner with you to chip away at all of this friction until it is a seamless to onboard a user. Today, I want to talk about how we're going to expand Link and our APIs to support more of onboarding. Talking first about identity verification. We've heard from all of you that KYC is critical, and I really can't wait for you to try out our new identity verification and monitoring products. They're truly awesome. But I think there's a lot more that we can do, not just before account linking, but also after. So we've been going deep on your use cases. So take account funding, for example. A lot of you have asked us, can Plaid help us assess the risk of moving money from one account to another? Maybe can you help us transfer funds faster? And the answer is yes and yes. Today we're going to talk about signal and transfer, two beta products we introduced last year to provide an end-to-end -end solution for money movement that makes account funding risk-free and instantaneous for all of you. These are the kind of opportunities, though, that we want to bring for every use case built on top of Plaid. So if you take lending, can we help you with income verification? What about evaluating the financial health of consumers? What about speeding up loan disbursement and loan payback? 
The answer to all four is yes. We're dedicated not just to making account linking better, but to looking at every painful part of the onboarding process. Everything you hate to do, but that you have to do, and making it as simple and as seamless as possible. So I can't wait for you to build on top of these solutions. And to tell you more about that, I want to introduce Ella Meyer and Shabani Sanan, who will walk you through what this all new full stack onboarding experience looks like. Thanks, Ella. Thanks, Jean Denis. 37%. That's the percentage of people who make it through the average onboarding flow. Think about that number for a minute. That is worse than Shaq's free throw average. Now, imagine that the success of your business depended on Shaq making a free throw. You would panic. I'm kind of joking, but that's the reality for most digital finance apps today. Like Jean-Denis said, today's onboarding experience is about more than just account linking. Before you even get to that point, you need to verify their identity, comply with complex regulations, and mitigate fraud. And when each one of those steps makes it more difficult to use an app or service, it's no wonder that only three out of every 10 people make it through today's onboarding process. My name's Alan Meyer, and I lead the newly formed identity team here at Plaid. My journey to this stage actually started around nine years ago, when my co-founders and I were trying to build a Bitcoin remittance system. Long story short, like most early stage projects, our products didn't go anywhere, but by the end of it, we had built a suite of KYC and identity tech, and so we figured, hey, maybe this would be helpful to others as well. Fast forward a few years, and that is how Cognito was born, a full stack identity verification and KYC solution optimized for developers and consumers. Today, our product has verified over 100 million identities and is used by some of the world's leading digital finance companies, such as FTX, Wire, and Affirm. But if there's one thing that I've learned through this experience, it's that at the end of the day, we just want to build products and ship them so that our customers will love them without having to deal with the hassles of KYC regulations and fraud. Well, now that's possible. Allow me to introduce you to Plaid Identity Verification. Now, <laughs> there it is, we made it. Plaid IDV makes it easy for you to get good customers up and running on your platform by handling all of the verification methods that you need uh, to, to fight fraud, including ID document checks, selfie checks, risk analysis, and anti-money laundering watchlist screening. It can even help you verify the authenticity of identity doc documents by recognizing pictures of screens, pieces of printed paper, and tampered IDs. Sorry, your fake ID from college? It's not gonna cut it anymore. And the best part is, starting today, this is now available in early access in your Plaid integration. But it doesn't stop there. Because once you use Plaid IDV to verify a customer's ID, now you need to help them do whatever it is that they downloaded your app for in the first place. And for most of you, that starts with account funding, which can include everything from trading crypto to sending a payment or applying for a loan, which Shabani will speak to in a bit. Let me show you how all of this works. Meet Layla. Layla wants to start investing, so she's looking for a digital finance app to help her get started. Her friends told her about Ascend, a fictitious app that lets customers invest in everything from individual stocks to ETFs and crypto. By downloading the app, uh, she's able to enter her new her information, including her full name here, her legal name, as well as her email address. Now, Ascend needs to verify Layla's identity, so they ask her to enter her phone number. And two things happen here. 
First, Ascend uses Plaid IDV's regulated and high quality data sources to verify that the phone number that Layla entered actually matches her identity. Second, Ascend confirms that she's still in possession of that phone number using SMS verification. Once this is established, Layla is asked to provide some additional identity data, such as her address, date of birth, and also her social security number. At this point, by using Plaid IDV, Ascend is able to verify 90% of customers with just those two checks. But if for any reason Layla didn't pass either of those two checks, then Ascend has a fallback option in place which requires her to upload an identification document and complete a selfie check. To breeze through this process, Layla starts by snapping a picture of her ID. Now, we know ID cards look different for everybody, which is why Plaid IDV processes and verifies more than 16,000 different document types. Much like Plaid, Plaid's industry-leading coverage of financial institutions, we've built this to be as comprehensive as possible for you and your users. Ascend loves this feature, by the way, because it's helping them expand into new markets and onboard more customers, regardless of where their identity documents were issued. Next up is my favorite part, and apparently Jean Denis, the selfie. Ascend asks Layla to take a quick selfie so they can compare it against the ID that she just verified. To do that, Layla simply aligns her face, smiles for the camera, and takes her best Instagram-worthy photo. Using advanced facial comparison, Plaid IDV instantly checks the selfie and lets Ascend know that Layla is a real person and that her face actually matches her ID. All of that in just less than a minute. Ascend was able to verify that Layla is, in fact, Layla. Now let's help her fund her new account so that she can make her first investment. Ascend starts by prompting her to add a funding account, which she's able to do with Plaid Link. Layla consents to sharing her data and then selects First Platypus Bank, one of the many financial institutions that Plaid works with that leverages OAuth to keep people like Layla's credentials safe and we all know how critical that is. Next, Layla moves through the authentication process and signs in using her FPB username and password. After a quick SMS verification, she's able to choose which additional account information she wants to share with Ascend. This verifies that she's the account owner and makes it easy for her to eventually transfer money from one bank account to the next. Now, she just needs to accept the terms and conditions, and voila, she's officially authenticated and linked her FPB accounts. Now, because Ascend uses Transfer, Plaid's new ACH processing solution, Layla is able to move $100 from her checking account into her Ascend account so she can start trading right away. With their previous provider, Ascend had to place a three to five day hold on all customer funds to make sure that customers like Layla actually had the $100. Now, using over 1,000 different risk signals, Signal returns two scores for Layla, a customer risk score of nine, which puts her in the lowest tier for things like unauthorized returns, and a bank risk score of 10, which also puts her in the lowest tier for things like insufficient funds. These two scores give, Layla, uh, give Ascend the confidence that they need to release Layla's funds immediately. Completely bypassing the traditional three to five day holding period. Meanwhile, Layla is on cloud nine because she was able to download the Ascend app to her phone, verify her identity, open and fund a new investment account, and make her first trade. All of that in just less than a few minutes. Remember that 37%? That's the percent of people who make it through the traditional onboarding flow. But that's the old way of doing things. With Plaid, you can onboard customers quickly and securely so that you can, going, so that you can go back to doing what you love, helping more people get to that magical moment when they use your app for the very first time. This is just the beginning for us. 
Just imagine all of the great things that we can build via the power of the Plaid network to help onboard more users and, uh, and reduce fraud at scale. Now that IDV is available in early access, we can't wait to see how you use it to build the future of digital finance apps and services. Thank you, and over to Shabani. <laughs>
Then she starts filling out her loan application by entering in how much money she's looking to borrow and what the monthly payment plan is right for her. Now, if you're a lender like Zippy, you need a robust identity verification process to meet KYC requirements while making it, still keeping it easy for Layla to um, enter all her information. In this case, she's able to get identity verification completed in 30 seconds with Plaid IDV specifically for this use case. Next, she provides some personal financial information like monthly housing payments, the number of dependents she has, and her salary as her source of income. Now, here's a part of the process that took my daughter and I several days to complete. Let's see how we've improved this for Layla. She selects her bank and enters her credentials. And grants Zippy access to all of her accounts. Now, Zippy is able to get transaction history, account information, and account holder information and balance information. For example, Zippy is able to see that Layla currently has 5,200 currently in her checking account. Next, Plan identifies the income sources across all of the accounts that Layla has connected. In this case, it's a direct deposit of 5,400. Plaid shows this to Layla, and Layla gets to decide if she shows that, shares that income stream with Zippy. This is our new bank income product, which we just launched last month. Now, let's take a look at what's happening from Zippy's perspective. First, Plaid retrieves data fields from Layla's bank account. Bank statements, including income category, the frequency of that income, and the amount she receives. In addition, Zippy gets account information, identity information, balance data, cash flow data, transactions data. A truly comprehensive set that is both instant and informative, going way beyond a traditional credit score. Plaid returns this data instantly to Zippy in the JSON format so that they can use this for their credit decisioning process. Zippy is now able to give Layla the most competitive loan in the market because they're using a wider array of data. No brother-in-law co-signing needed anymore because Zippy has worked with Plaid to enhance the data they collect and get a more comprehensive picture about Layla. And now the best part. Layla receives a response instantly from Zippy, letting her know that her loan is approved. So by using both the income and the assets product, you can better understand customers like Layla's inflows and outflows, giving you a more holistic and inclusive overview that goes way beyond a traditional credit score. This means that you're able to offer a more comprehensive and personalized underwriting process every time and get more people access to money. Now, just one day later, Layla gets her money deposited directly into her bank account. Because Zippy uses Plaid and Modern Treasury integration, sending and receiving loan payments is easy. Since Layla has already signed up and, and connected her bank account using Link, Zippy can use Modern Treasury's processor token to seamlessly process payments and securely transfer the money to Layla's account. There are over 50 processing partners in Plaid's partner ecosystems that you can choose from for disbursement of funds. Just one day after downloading Zippy's app, the only thing Layla now has to worry about is the furniture she's gonna order and the paint and the color of the paint on the walls of her house. She does not have to worry about how she will fund her home remodeling because the money is already in her account. And above all, it was secure, fast, 
and easy. This is what lending should look like, a night and day experience. It's been such a rewarding experience to introduce you to this new full stack, on, full stack onboarding solution, and I can't wait to see how you use it to transform your customer's lending experience. It also makes me incredibly happy to know that the next time any of us, our children or grandchildren, have to apply for a loan, they don't have to face the hurdles of yesterday. With Plaid, that's now possible. Thank you again for joining us today. Back to John Denis. Right. Thank you, Shabani, and thank you, Alain, or Alan, I guess. Um, so, as you just saw in each of the demos, Ascend and Zippy needed to assess and mitigate against risk at multiple points as Layla signed up and used their services. We've heard from all of you that risk and fraud are constant challenges, but not just in onboarding, in the ongoing life cycle of your customers. And dealing with risk and fraud is very costly and very time consuming, especially in a world where fraudsters are getting more nuanced and where risk is very, very difficult to evaluate. So this is Plaid's third focus area today, reducing fraud and risk throughout your customer life cycle. It all goes back to our theme of making the ecosystem safer and more cost effective for all of you. And that's why we've invested so much in reducing fraud in the past, and while we'll continue to invest moving forward. Let's start with what we've done until now in Plaid Link. So as many of you know, we already enhanced security with Plaid's own additional multi-factor authentication on top of bank flows where necessary. Furthermore, our link platform and all of our APIs provide fraud and abuse detection mechanisms behind the scenes to prevent malicious accounts to sign in. A lot of our capabilities here leverage the size of our network and the fact that our account linking is so prevalent in the financial ecosystem. Finally, and I think most importantly, we work with many of you to improve these capabilities over time. Another example is our identity connectivity endpoints, which you've used in the past to verify account ownership. As Alain showed, starting today with a fully integrated identity verification solution in Link, you're gonna be able to do so much more to combat fraud. What I'd like to focus on right now is how we can help you manage risk on an ongoing basis around money movement. We know money movement risk is one of your biggest concerns, which is why we built Signal, a beta product we announced last year and that Zach referenced earlier. So the beta for Signal has done incredibly well, helping reduce fraud for customers with mature risk and fraud team. Signal's fraud reduction validates our network, the unique data and insights that Plata has, and our risk model capabilities. I'm really proud of this product because we really built it with you as partners. A decision that we made early on was not just to expose the high-level risk scores, but also the proprietary ver variables from the Plaid network. This means that you can seamlessly incorporate Signal into your own existing fraud and risk models, even if you don't want to rely solely on our scores and conclusions. We're working with a number of customers on this today. Agent Arblock, Uphold, Webull, and beta customers have seen significant improvements thanks to Signal. Listen to this. We're talking 50% reduction in returns due to insufficient funds and fraud. 50%. We've seen customers that rely on Signal give up to 96% of their new users accelerated access to funds, often versus zero beforehand, while only seeing minimal ACH return rates. This is a big step towards making money movement risk-free and instantaneous for each of you. Let's say that you're a neobank or neo brokerage, and you're funding an account. It means you can act as if the funds are there instantly. Remember how Leila was able to fund her account immediately instead of waiting three to five days? That is the power of Signal. 
<clears throat> so Signal is, is cool. It's very, very cool. And it was very, very hard to build. But I think we can do even more. As Zach highlighted, we're introducing a new service in Alpha called Guarantee that's powered by Signal and other data sources to help you further de-risk ACH transactions. With Signals, you get scores, risk tiers, and insights to provide you more certainty that a transaction will settle. With Guarantee, you get Guarantee. Guarantee. It says it right there. So Plaid will guarantee settlement of transactions and underwrite the risk for you meaning you can give your customers faster access to funds without having to worry at all about returns or potential losses. Finally, we're also going to manage and look for ways to work with you to manage ongoing risk for other use cases and parts of our product. Like in lending, where we're helping to mitigate fraudulent document uploads in the lending process to expedite decisioning for lenders. All of this is just the beginning for us. We want to arm the entire ecosystem from fintechs to banks with better, smarter, more effective tools to lower risk so that you can continue scaling and growing your business without having to think about fraud. We'll be speeding up the rate of beta partners for both Signal and Guarantee as we approach GA, and I can't wait for more of you to try both out. Okay, let's shift gears a little. Full stack onboarding isn't just limited to what we're doing in the US and Canada. We're also expanding this in Europe as we continue to scale and grow our business there and enter more and more markets. Let me introduce you to Ripsy Bandurian, head of Europe. Thanks, Jean Denis. Hi everyone, I'm Ripsy. I lead our Europe business here at Plat, and today I'm dialing in from Amsterdam. We know that your aspirations aren't limited to your own region. So of course, you're looking for new customers and growth abroad. If you are in the US, you might naturally be looking to expand into other markets like Europe and vice versa, and we can enable that. No matter where you start, Plaid provides a transatlantic bridge to bring your end users the best of open banking anywhere. With a single integration, we can connect you to where you want to go next and reach new customers. We offer a full set of solutions across account funding, online payments, verification and KYC, and affordability decisioning. When combining our open banking data network with our payment solutions, you can make your customer experiences more seamless and enhance the digital financial tools you offer. We cover more institutions in North America and the UK than any other provider and have coverage spanning across continental Europe, but importantly, with local market expertise. We recently added open banking payments in Italy, Ireland and the Netherlands to join the UK, Germany and France. We are also excited to share that payments are coming soon to Spain, Poland, Belgium, the Nordics, and the Baltics. Now you can bring the power of instant settlement rails in the UK and Europe to your services. In addition, Plaid offers open banking data solutions complete with industry-leading categorization and cleansing, so you can provide the best insights and decisioning for your users. This is available across the UK, France, Germany, Ireland, and Spain, with more countries coming soon. We focus on abstracting away the complexity of different regulatory environments to let you focus on building your business with licenses in the UK and in the Netherlands that passports to the rest of the EU. Our solutions are optimized for conversion in Europe. We've built on lessons learned from our work in North America and localized for experiences for European end users to reduce friction, leveraging biometric authentication on mobile devices and giving you the flexibility to design the experience that works best for your users. All of this with dashboards to make it easy to manage users and payments. This is part of the reason that leading fintechs and platforms like Kraken and Sage have chosen to work with Plaid globally. Kraken uses Plaid for payments across the US, UK, and Europe to ensure customers can move money no matter where they bank. 
with more than 12,000 institutions and a developer-friendly approach, Applied Integration is definitely the easiest way to take your business global. We can't wait to help you grow your business across the world. And with that, I'll hand it back to Jean Denis. Thank you. Thank you, Ripsy. So I want to finish by going back to our first focus area, account connectivity, and the quality of our core product. Again, I'm just really trying to avoid you asking me questions after the talk. We believe that making it easy for you to leverage financial data is the single most important thing we can do to empower you. Earlier this year, we announced the GA of a recurring transactions endpoint, where we continuously identify direct deposits, subscription payments, and other recurring events for you and your users. This was the number one feature request from transactions users last year, and I think you're gonna be really thrilled with how powerful it is. The best part is like everything we do, we're continuing to enhance its capabilities in response to your feedback. For example, we're introducing a variant to the model that we call early detection that tags recurring transactions even based on seeing them only once. We also just shipped our Sync API. We know from many of you that transactions reconciliation has been a pain point. And this new API alleviates the need for you to build your own reconciliation capabilities. Instead of having to piece together data from Plaid and banks and your own database, you can call Sync to learn exactly what has changed in an account since you last checked it. That means transactions that have been added, removed, and I think most importantly, modified. My personal favorite is always when a transaction has a different string a different value and a different date between pending and posted. That's always a fun situation to have to deal with. I think you're gonna be really excited about one new product in beta that we call Plaid Enrich. So many of you here actually generate your own transactions, right? You issue credit cards or you create bank or brokerage accounts for your users. And you've asked us if we can help you cleanse and categorize those transactions much like every other transaction. So we can do that for you. You want to leverage Plaid's data enhancement capabilities? All right, that's Plaid Enrich. Recurring transactions, sync, Plaid Enrich. These are great products, but they're only a small, small part of all of the value that we deliver as your core platform for financial data connectivity. We think you're gonna really love building on top of them. Okay, so beyond data quality and ease of use, it's always important for us to continue expanding our network. We know that many of you are building for mainstream consumers, which is why we've always focused on fintechs, traditional financial institutions as part of our network. But the reality is many of you here are thinking far into the future, and you're building products not only for the mainstream, but for users who are themselves innovators and early adopters. There's a lot of exciting work happening across crypto and DeFi, and we've been watching closely towards the mainstreaming of financial products built on top of these technologies. What does that mean for you? So in the near term, you can expect Plaid to launch the developer-first products to help you navigate Web3 wallets, crypto assets across both centralized exchanges and decentralized blockchains. We've been working very hard to make all of this easier for you, and we think you're gonna be blown away by what we've got in store over the coming months. Look, in the end, Plaid wants you to help, wants to help you connect to your users' financial lives, regardless of the underlying technology. Web2, Web3, Web5, FinTech, traditional financial system, in the US or internationally, we want to help you with that. Remember our common purpose here, while we're all in this room or listening online. We're here to deliver better financial outcomes to people everywhere. And Plaid is here to empower you with the best account connectivity and the best full stack onboarding to achieve that purpose. So I want to end with a big thank you. And I know you've heard this from me like 70 times, so you're a little bit tired of it. But please get in touch. 
and please give me and the team your feedback. It's what's gotten us here in this room, thanks to you. So I can't wait for the rest of the day. We've got a ton of fantastic sessions. I'll be around, don't be afraid to say hi. I'm wearing sweatpants, right? So not intimidating at all. Um, but excited to hear about your ideas, your products, and the future that you're building. Um, you know, happy form. <laughs>